Smile and learn. Do you know what microorganisms are and how many types of them are there? Let's learn everything about them. There are organisms that consist of one single cell called unicellular organisms. These organisms are very small. That's why we call them microorganisms. You may also know them by other names like germs or microbes. To observe microorganisms, we need specific instruments like microscopes. Microorganisms come in many sizes and forms. In ancient times, some investigators had already questioned whether or not the diseases human beings had may be caused by organisms invisible in plain sight. This is when they started investigating microorganisms. Anton von Leeuwenhoek was the first investigator to start observing microorganisms in the 17th century. Microscopes and the investigations done with them allowed other scientists to continue learning how diseases were caused or how they could be cured. Some types of microorganisms are bacteria, viruses, and fungi. Bacteria They are prokaryotic cells. They have no nucleus. Some bacteria are useful in food fermentation, like making yogurt or cheese. By contrast, other bacteria are harmful and may cause infections. We treat bacteria with antibiotics. They spread in different ways. Viruses They are not living beings. To carry out the vital functions, they need a host, that is, a living being. They are much smaller than bacteria. Sometimes they can infect them and live inside them. Some viruses cause diseases like flu or chickenpox. To prevent diseases caused by viruses, vaccination is important. There isn't a vaccine for every virus. Fungi Some fungi are microorganisms bigger than bacteria or viruses. They can be found in the air, plants, or in the water. Some, like yeasts, are used to make foods. I'm sure you've seen mold on fruit or bread. This is a type of fungi. As we have seen, microorganisms can be everywhere because they are not visible in plain sight. To prevent diseases and avoid getting infected, it is very important to have good hygiene habits. Now you're all an expert in microorganisms. You know how to tell the difference among bacteria, viruses, and fungi. See you around! Did you like the video? We have so many more! Subscribe by clicking on the seal. Ah, and if you want to keep watching more videos, click on the boxes.